do I look put together enough to be doing this today? Um, <laughs> that's what I was just asking myself, like, uh, okay. As I was about to start recording today's video, um, I was like, I need some lotion. I need some hand cream real bad. My hands are dry. Walking over there, I stubbed my toe on a toy and then it, I just wanted to throw the toy against the wall so hard. But I uh, exercised self-control and I just set it down nicely on that chair. Um, anyways, my name is Nicole and thank you for being on my uh, second YouTube video. I'm hoping to do these like every Tuesday or something. Um, watching my last video, I realized how much I said. Um, so hopefully that stuff will get ironed out as we move forward with more videos. But yeah, I don't know, it's crazy. I like looked at my first video and there's like 75 views. I'm like, oh my gosh, 75 people like made an attempt to watch this, that's so interesting. Um, but and I also just got a phone call because I was thinking about like what to talk about. It's funny because the whole week I'm like, I could talk about this or oh this, I, I could talk about this. I actually forgot something I wanted to talk about too, so I'll have to grab it in a minute. But um, there's that word again. I got a phone call while I was like putting my makeup on from a friend who um, relapsed. She started drinking again and she's crying and really upset and disappointed in herself and I cannot um, express like how much I hate the disease of addiction and alcoholism. It is a horrible disease that makes people feel so much guilt and shame when they relapse and it's really hard for people to come back from a relapse because of that guilt and shame and um, our coping mechanism to deal with that is drugs and alcohol. That's what we've been using and that's our go-to. So to set that down and be like left basically laying naked with shame and everything is really hard for me and people like me but I really hope that she can um, break out of it again and give herself another uh, fresh start and to know that she is loved and to not feel shame and that shame um, is the enemy it is a lie and I think that the difference between guilt and shame is guilt is what we feel like conviction when we do something wrong we feel guilty about it and then shame is telling us that there's something wrong with us and there's a huge difference so um if you have shame in your life or in yourself or something you feel like something's wrong with you there's nothing wrong with you but that is a struggle that a lot of us deal with every day um so every day like one day at a time just getting better and thinking about or being mindful about what we're thinking in our thoughts that could be um triggering, triggering us or leading us into feeling more shame but um, on another note, I was like, I'm going to wear my hope dealer shirt today. So my shirt says hope dealer and it is from inspire her. There's little birds on the back right here. That is the brand inspire her. And I forget what the gal story was, but it was, it was really cool. And I'm really proud that she has her own brand and she's doing her thing and she has really cute stuff and inspiring stuff. So, uh, maybe go check her out if um, that's up your alley and then um, my earrings my earrings if you like them they're my first ever purchase from paparazzi I'm not a type of person who likes to have lots of jewelry but I do love I'm an earring girl I like big hoops and I cannot lie but they're only five bucks um, if you're interested in and in these or where I got these from let me know and I haven't had like any allergic reaction or anything from them and I was like dang for five bucks they're not bad they're like really um heavy too like like quality you know um what else I want to talk about vision boards today I don't even know if I put a description on this or if I'm supposed to do that at the end I totally forgot but I do know I want to talk about vision boards because I was in a meeting a few nights ago and um the reading that we read about was about dreams and a lot of people shared different stuff, but a few times it came up where, um, women especially were, um, expressing that they don't have 
like vision or dreams they kind of just like they can't think into the future and they kind of just go with the flow with like what life gives them and that is fine like if that's how people want to be or live but I just want to introduce something that might be different and more fulfilling and amazing and um I don't know something that I'm passionate about and if you're not that's cool too but um okay vision boards so you can have dreams you can have dreams oh one day like I dream about this and I dream about that and it's more like you know the like fuzzy lights and whatever like but vision is like a vision that you have for your life you know a vision that I have for my life and it's more like you set your goals and stuff like that so that to me is the difference with like just having dreams and then actually having a vision for what you want in your life um I think it is important to have vision like what is the quote or whatever about like without vision or something to that effect people perish you know um I, for my life, I would hate to stay in the comfortable, um, like, routine of day-to-day, -day, you know, go to work and um, come home and watch TV and go to bed and get up and go to work and come home and watch TV and go to bed. You know, that is a lot of our routine. Like, a lot of us have to work and stuff. Um, but what else do you want to have happen in your life, you know? Um, do you want to take vacations? Where do you want to take vacations to? Do you want to be of service somewhere? Um, stuff like that, you know? Um, do you want to give back? How can you be used to um, better the world? And um, so I've been doing vision boards. Let's see. I was in a halfway house where I made my first vision board. I don't know like how I heard of it or whatnot, but I believe in them, I swear. And I have a um, teacher who was my high school teacher. Now she does like um, workshops about vision boards and she swears by them, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I think, um, let's see, I'll show you mine because I feel like I've been rambling on for a while here. So this was mine for 2019 and let me move it like that. So you can see it. I love this one. I just love, so gold is my favorite color. I f love, love, I love gold and the color gold. Um, so I usually put you, there's like no right or wrong way to do a vision board. Like, let me tell you that right now. So this is just to like give you guys, um, my mirrors and the lens. Okay. Uh, idea of like how I do mine and what you could do, or you can do it totally your own way. It's so funny. Cause right here, it says hunt and then there was a deer but <laughs> my husband needed it for this year too year after year that's his vision um and then let's see i hear my baby out there crying i wish they would take care of him while i'm doing this um but okay so we had on a vision board to buy the piece of land that was next to us it was like 0.75 acres so we did that check it off you know it's like setting goals i wanted a laptop and you know what this the laptop didn't happen in 2019 but it was like february of this year i believe finally got my laptop and i got an apple i wanted an apple like because i wanted to be able to sync my phone to it and everything and dream big or whatever you know um then my husband got a truck last year that was awesome it was new to us and he needed a new better truck um that wasn't such a gas guzzler he wanted a diesel and like the more specific that you can be with your uh, vision board the better um let's see disneyland that was on our vision board i think it was last summer we went i'm pretty sure it was last summer we went yeah because i was uh we had jerome and i was pregnant okay uh, we wanted to pay off our credit card and our Home Depot card. We did that. Was it last year? No, but it was this year after taxes. So hopefully we keep those beasts paid off. And then um, we want to have $6,000 in savings. Do we yet? No, but that's okay because we have more now than we did at this time last year, you know. Um, let's see. I want to paint my vanity room. Has that been done yet? No, but we did paint the boys' room. So... Anyways, like, if I can't find pictures and magazines of the stuff that I want, 
um, then I just write it on there. And my husband and I come together and do this too. Usually it's just me and then I'm like, hey, do you want to add anything? Or like, what do you want to do, you know? Um, he's not so much into this as much as I am, but I love baking. So I wanted to make some new stuff. I want to still make those. Travel, um, land of plenty. Like I want to, I want to have plenty. I want to be able to, um, share and give to others or whatever. Um, yeah, I wanted a rug for my vanity room, which I do have now, which is awesome. We eventually want to do a new tub and shower. We want to get chickens, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then kind of like personal goals, like get more energy, just be you. I love that. Like I want to be comfortable in my own skin and um, just be myself. So <sighs> common collected, that's, that's another one that I'm still working on, but that's just an idea of a vision board. Um, so this is like what I think or why I think it's important too, because, um, how I feel or what I believe is that, um, that the Bible says we, um, let's see, what does it say? It says that the word was with God and the word was God. Um, and basically like God spoke the earth and everything into creation, right? And so obviously that tells me that I have to be careful with my words, which I am getting better at. Um, and also that like God created all of this and then we have like God inside of all of us, you know, like I believe that I have Jesus living inside of me and he, um, he created me and then like I'm, I was made in his image, you know, like man and woman were both created in God's image. So I have the ability to create in my life. And so I think that's important. I think that we are given such an amazing, huge gift and opportunity that if we don't use it, like, like almost like we're doing a disservice, you know, and it's hard for a lot of people. And it's hard for me too, because well, what am I supposed to do? Like, what is God's will? What does he want me to do? All that stuff. You know, I can get so wrapped up and tripped up in it, but I just heard something the other day, um, about like, it's not a mistake. The things that you like and the things that you enjoy doing like that is because that is your purpose, excuse me. And, um, and like, that's just how it is. But I want to say, <laughs> I like doing things I shouldn't be doing like drugs and stuff. That is not what I mean, because I was like, oh, that can get twisted real quick, you know? Um, but the things that are healthy and um, help others, you know, uh, that you are passionate about, that I am passionate about, um, that kind of, like, gives me the, like, okay, I'm on the right path, you know? Um, so, our thoughts, I think we have to be aware of our thoughts. Um, what is it? Thoughts become feelings. Feelings become um I forget how it goes something and then something becomes action so I have to be very mindful of my thoughts and like where I'm going that is the basis of everything and the direction that I'm going in my life so I really believe in affirmations I believe in vision boards um, and doing that and then also um, like my teacher Miss Pastori had said like if you have this on your vision board you know um, oh, I want I don't know, I want a boat or I want this much money and I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, you know, that it's almost like you're doing the opposite of like repelling it because you are so like fixated on it. Um, but if you are able to, um, be like, you know, this is like my vision for my life. This is what I would like to, um, like manifest. This is my desire. And then to me, I'm like, okay, God, you know, what is right for me and wrong for me. So if I am not ready for this, or if this is not going to be good for me or my family, then don't let it happen. Don't let me have it, whatever, because that has to be the ultimate thing that is most important to me is that, um, I am doing, um, I'm doing the right things. I'm doing God's will. So, um, trying to think what else I wanted to say about that. I have like a list of affirmations that I tell myself almost every day. And, um, yeah. Um, and the things that I enjoy doing, I'm all sitting here like looking at this stuff. You want to see this? <laughs> yes, we got, um, we're having Sensi family reunion and we got our like kit cause it's this, um, Thursday and Friday. So we got this, like, I want to look at this again. We got our kit. We got a notebook and all this stuff, but it came in this box and really like unboxing this. It's cool because you can't like read this, but with the glass.
classes on. You can like, well, some of them are different languages. The one that's in English, I read it on my live last night. In our lives, trials are not an unnecessary burden. They are a purposeful part of a productive life, said Orville Thompson. I just love them. But reading this and going through my stuff last night, like I was getting emotional. So that to me is like a sign that I'm on the right track and I'm doing something that I'm passionate about and that I love. And, um, you know, it's not just all about warmers and wax, although warmers and wax are amazing. And I totally think that um, making my home feel and smell homey um, just like helps it to be more peaceful. And I feel more like proud of it, you know, and I love, I love it. I love being here, you know, and um, makes my life like as a stay at home mom more enjoyable. And when I'm doing the laundry, having my laundry smell good and being able to like mix and match and mix up the scents, like that is fun, you know, um, instead of just being like, here we go, another load of laundry, you know, cause I have seven people I do laundry for every week. Um, that to me, um, is purposeful. And then a side note, how cool are these? This is so cool. And then my friend Cynthia, I saw this on her window. Well, I saw like rainbows and stuff and I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? Um, but these things, I don't know what it's called, um, but I'm sure you can like look up um, hologram maybe or like rainbows or crystals for your windows. And then when the light comes in, it makes rainbows in your car. So that is something really cool that I have not seen. And she sent me one because she's so freaking super sweet and she made me cry too yesterday. It was a good day yesterday. Got some cool stuff in the mail. Um, I want to show you guys something real quick. So don't mind me as I like gallivant over to my uh, closet here. Okay, so I got um, my Victoria's Secret order and no, I'm not going to be showing panties and bras. I think that's like not, not the vibe of this channel, but... <laughs> They had a sale, so I wanted to, I was like, I'm going to save this and unbox it because I like to do unboxings. Um, I really hope I don't order enough to like be able to do unboxings every week, but it might be like that. I don't know. This is my Carol Baskin shirt, right? I love the color of it and the print, and I cannot wait to wear it. I kind of forgot I had it. Um, but do you see my sweaty armpits? I don't know. Hopefully not. And then, so cute and looks comfy and I love the color. And then I got these shorts because I could use more like pajama um, comfy shorts um, to wear around the house. And they look shorter than I'd like them to be, maybe. I don't know, maybe not. But those are them. And they these were on sale. I was like, how do people not want these? How do they go on sale? Uh, Moss Walk Por Favor, Extra Spicy, whatever. They say cute things. Um, I don't really put peppers in my guacamole. Like, I know um, Gabe's, like, grandpa, or even his dad, maybe. I forget who it was. Was like, can you put peppers in it? Did you put peppers in it? I was like, no. I'm, like, a garlic and onion guacamole girl. Not, like, the spicy guacamole. I mean, I'll eat both, but that's just how I um, learned how to make it. Was with, like, lots of garlic. Um, and then this shirt I just got because the model that was wearing those like guacamole shorts was wearing just like a regular white tee. So I can't wait to wear it now. I finally unboxed it so I can wear it. Oh, what else? We're almost at 20 minutes. So I'm going to wrap up this video, but, um, if you guys have anything that you like want to see or talk about, I'm like, I could talk about the makeup that I use and I can talk about lots of things, but, um, if there's something that you want to talk about or hear about or whatever, just let me know. Um, if you are a woman in recovery, hang in there. I know, especially right now with the coronavirus, things are really challenging, um, for us to get to meetings or call into meetings or do video meetings and stuff. Um, just know that you're not alone and reach out if you need to reach out um, stay in touch, you know, like, um, I think we have to be proactive about it, you know, to, um, be accountable and do things before they get, uh, too bad to where, you know, like we don't know what to do. So, 
So hang in there. And thank you for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you uh, want to subscribe and see the other videos that I do, then hit the subscribe button. Um, I love you guys so much. And I just thank you for being here with me. And I will talk to you next week. Bye.